Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Dom from Lens Pro to Go and Lens Rentals. Welcome back to the channel. So this crazy vest contraption I have on right now isn't the latest fashion statement. Not yet anyways. It's an easy rig. And as you know, there's a whole bunch of tutorials and tips and tricks videos on like every single piece of filmmaking gear out there. But I kind of noticed that there isn't a lot of content on the best ways to set up and operate a camera on an easy rig. I feel like it's just like one of those pieces of gear that the people using them a lot are already very familiar with the sort of quirks and stuff that go into using them. But if you weren't aware or you were just looking for something to sort of demystify these crazy things for you, then you're in luck because I'm going to take today's video to go over some things that I think you should know about setting up and operating on an easy rig. So what an easy rig is, is a backpack essentially with this big like turtle shell plastic casing on the back which houses this overarching arm. So inside this arm is a really, really strong rope with lots of tension. And that's because when you attach a super heavy camera on the end using this little spring-loaded hook, that tension counters the weight of the camera, making it essentially weightless. Now, you didn't actually make anything weightless. What you really did was redistributed the work of holding this camera up from your arms to basically every other part of your body, your shoulders, waist, and legs. And now you can see how much less of a strain operating this massive camera rig is. I can bring it up to like even above shoulder height for me. I can bring it down low to waist level and get a low angle shot. I can pan and tilt all super easily. Basically anything I would be able to do handheld but without actually managing the weight of the camera. And look at how freely I'm able to like move and do things without worrying about where this is going. Like using both of my arms for example. You could just totally let this chill here like this. Obviously it's going to swing around a little bit if you really move but look at this. You could just like hang out make a salad, do some volunteer work, all while your favorite cinema camera is dangling nearby. No, but seriously, I could wear and operate with this easy rig setup for multiple hours at a time. You might look at me right now and say that that looks kind of uncomfortable, but honestly, it's quite the opposite. It's very snug, and I would go as far as to say is it's a little bit comfy. It's like a weighted blanket. And yes, after some extended use, like after a couple of hours of shooting on this thing, You'll probably start to feel the burn like a little bit in your back or legs, but trust me, it is way less of a strain on your body than hand holding a rig this big for multiple hours like that. So as for the image, the Easy Rig is going to stabilize this camera very sufficiently, but it's also going to allow it some slight movements in subtle sways that's like reminiscent of handheld footage. And there's tons of examples out there, TV shows and movies of cinematographers using a camera on an Easy Rig to help get that handheld look, but obviously take the strain off their operators. So there's your breakdown of like what an Easy Rig is. Now the real reason I wanted to make this video was to offer up some tips and tricks on getting your camera build ready for use with the Easy Rig, and also some good procedure for getting it on this spring-loaded hook here, and then maybe a tip or two on actually operating the camera while it's on the Easy Rig. Okay, so the first step is obviously putting the vest on. So you're gonna bring it up like that and put it on just like a regular old backpack. It has those shoulder straps right here, first day of school. And then you're going to secure these big pads around your waist first, clip it in the buckle, and then there's a torso strap here too. And then you're going to want to make sure that these straps are nice and tight and the Easy Rig fits snugly to your body. You definitely don't want the Easy Rig to be moving a lot on your person. That's going to create more shakes and a less steady experience with the camera. And I feel like I should mention this because it's definitely a thing. When you have an easy rig on, you have a contraption on yourself with a large metal swinging arm. And if it's your first time, it can definitely feel like it's going to swing around and hit you in the head. Well, I'm telling you right now that that's pretty much impossible if you're wearing the easy rig even remotely correctly. What you should be concerned about is this large metal arm hitting into someone or something else and causing damage to them, or even worse, damaging an expensive piece of camera equipment. But luckily for you, people are probably going to be avoiding you when you have this crazy vest on, so that shouldn't be a problem. 
So the next major thing is this whole system basically relies on the camera having some sort of top handle or mounting option on the top. There are other solutions and third party accessories that use different methods, but today I'm just going to be using the spring clamp it comes with and a top handle. So I want to make sure that my rig's top handle is going to be compatible with this and honestly most are. I've probably never encountered a top handle that doesn't work with the Easy Rig spring hook. But one thing you should consider is that if the top handle is right on top of the body, on most setups that's probably fine, but on the rig I'm using right now that's like very heavy and long and especially like a bit front heavy, when I mounted it on, the whole camera like dipped forward and you definitely don't want that. Probably rule of thumb is you want the camera to be as balanced as possible when it's on the top handle. So what I actually did was grabbed a top handle from another kit that we have and fastened it in the opposite direction. So at the very end of the handle is like right where the center of gravity for this rig is. So now when I put the hook at the end of that handle, the camera doesn't really want to dangle or fall in any certain direction because the camera clamp is hooked basically right at the camera's center of gravity. Otherwise, this would kind of defeat the purpose of having an easy rig. If the camera wanted to like dip down or back or anything, that would just be like fighting you while you're operating this. You want it to be pretty much completely as balanced and unmoving as possible. All right, so now let's talk about getting the camera on and off the Easy Rig, and I'm gonna break this down into doing this solo and doing this with someone to help. So obviously I'm gonna get the camera off first. So even with this super beefy rig, I'm gonna be able to get this on and off the Easy Rig very easily. So ideally, you're gonna want the camera on a level surface that's about waist height or maybe higher. Next, I'm gonna grab this spring hook with both hands right here. This is a pretty high tension build, otherwise you'd probably be able to do this with one hand. And I'm gonna give myself like about a foot and a half worth of slack. Also, I'm gonna be mindful to keep the open side of the hook facing me, and I'll talk about this in one second. And so now this is where it gets possibly a little tricky, and honestly, it's not really that tricky at all. Once you get a hang of this, it'll be like, you'll be doing this in like one fluid motion. So like I said, I'm gonna have like about a foot and a half of slack there, open side of the hook facing me, and I'm just gonna sort of bend down so that the hook gets to meet the top handle, and I can see that it swings around and catches the top handle fully. You definitely don't want it to be partially on there or askew or like grabbing it in an awkward way or anything. And so once that I can see that it's wrapped around the top handle pretty good, now I'm actually gonna put less pressure down on the hook and let the Easy Rig do a little bit of the work of carrying this camera while I secure the locking part right here. And I do this because I noticed that that gives you a really, really secure fit on this top handle right here. I don't like to have really like any motion or jitter or wiggle in this clamp scenario at all. It's probably fine if there is, I'm just like an overly cautious camera builder. So that's pretty much it. And like I said, once you get this down, you'll be doing this in like one fluid motion. And it's pretty much the exact same for getting it off. I'm just gonna push the camera down like right here, meet the hook so that the Easy Rig isn't doing any of the work of picking up this camera right now. I'm like fixing it to the ground. While applying pressure to the hook, I'm gonna unlock it right here. I'm gonna bring it all the way up, giving me the most amount of space on that locking clamp and securely swing it out from the top handle. And then I'm gonna guide this back up to the top. If I just let it go, there's a ton of tension right here and that would just like whack up to the top. So I obviously don't wanna do that. Just guide it up right there. And now the camera is off the easy rig. So if that seems a little scary, this process becomes a lot easier when you have a friend with you. So if you have a helping hand, what they can do is basically pick up the camera and hoist it up to you while making the top handle available. The best thing for that person to do would be to hold the camera from the bottom and the side, making that top handle available rather than holding it from the top, which would be problematic. Also, this is just good camera practice too. The person holding the camera should hold it firmly until you verbally confirm with them that the hook is on right and they can let go. As for getting it off with someone to help, it's the same exact thing. When it's time to get the camera off the rig, that person can come over, get a firm grasp on the bottom and probably the side or the back of the camera, really anywhere else but the top handle. 
verbally confirm with you that they have a firm grip on the camera. And then that will allow you to undo the locking mechanism on the hook, swing it away from the top handle, and they can get the camera out of the way and you both go your separate ways. Here's another thing to do that's a lot easier with a friend, adjusting the tension. So all easy rigs have like this large Allen key right here and a dial on the side to increase or decrease the tension of this wire based on the weight of the camera. And where this key is stored actually tells you the appropriate weight range for each model. This recommends a payload of 11 to 38 pounds and this rig is 21 pounds, so we're right down the middle. Knowing this is a really heavy rig, I really cranked up the tension even before I put the easy rig on, which was a mistake because I realized that it actually had too much tension once I secured the camera on. So that's when I would call my AC over and you would give me a couple clicks to the left, releasing the tension. So now it's much easier to move this up and down the wire, but it still completely takes off the weight of the camera. So one more quick thing I wanna mention, you may have noticed that this Easy Rig setup has this accessory on it that's not actually part of the Easy Rig itself. This is the Flow Cine Serene Arm, a third party accessory that's very commonly used with the Easy Rig that I happen to think is absolutely awesome, but it's a little hit or miss for some. So the purpose of the Serene Arm is to minimize the type of jitter that you would get from the image when the operator is walking with the Easy Rig. You can see it sort of like uses this mechanism to sort of give the camera like a little bit of bob, but what that's actually doing is counter the bob that would happen while you are walking with this rig. So that's like the main purpose of the Flow Serene Arm. I like it because it does two other things that really help me when I'm operating with it. First of all, it's gonna extend the overall placement of this camera so it goes out a little bit further. If I didn't have the Serene Arm, the rope would be dangling from right here and the camera would be like really close to my head which would be fine for a lot of camera rigs, but this is a particularly long one. So for example, I wouldn't have any of this clearance like on my face or anything if that wasn't all the way out here. And this second piece of advice, on the unmodified Easy Rig, in terms of camera height, that's pretty much your limit right there, like where the top of the arm is. With the Serene Arm attachment, I'm able to actually get that even higher than I would have been able to with just the Easy Rig itself. Before, if I needed to get like eye level with a subject that was taller than me, which is like most people, that pretty much actually would have been impossible with the Easy Rig. I would have had to like get up on an Apple box or something, and that would not have been great for my self-esteem. So with this thing, it's absolutely awesome because I can get it even higher than where it would actually be on the unmodified Easy Rig. Okay, so those are the tips that I really wanted to get across. It's mainly just the little quirks about getting this thing on and off the hook, and also what you're able to do if you have at least one person to help you out. But there's also like one or two operation things too that I wanna get across before we wrap up this video. So, an easy rig is an amazing way to get handheld-esque shots without managing the weight of the camera as we've discussed so far. But it is not a replacement for a gimbal. A gimbal provides total camera stabilization using like a series of motors for like the utmost stable type of shot. So for a shot that you want to guarantee to be that stable, you will have to use a gimbal. Although, it's fairly commonplace to use a gimbal on an easy rig together. And that's using the same exact principle as we're doing right now just flying this camera. It's just taking the workload off holding that gimbal up from your hands and redistributing it to the rest of your body so you don't actually have to be doing that work with your arms. But I'm not doing that today. I really want those sort of handheld shots that are still really smooth and cinematic but also have like a little bit of natural sway to it and that's like kind of like exactly why you would use this type of thing. If I had a gimbal on here it would just be like really really cumbersome and it would be like a little bit more of a larger footprint setup. Even though this looks really ridiculous and cumbersome, I can actually be really slim and sort of like low footprint with this. I could sneak into like a lot of close knit scenarios if I was doing any sort of operating like that. So which would only be a, like mildly more challenging with the gimbal. But anyways, that's gonna lead me to my last tip of operating the camera on the Easy Rig. And this is gonna come from the Steadicam world. So basically, I'm gonna operate this whole thing at a little bit of an angle, as opposed to like dead on shooting it like this. When I get it to the side like this, I just have much better general control of the camera. 
I can pan and tilt like so much more easily. And it's just at a much more comfortable distance away from me. Like I said, if this was like dead on right here and I had my monitor like that, I would just have like this battery like almost whacking me in the face right here. So now I'm just gonna like sort of like sway around. I'm looking at my monitor. I can make any sort of changes. And then also angling this to the side like this is going to allow me to bring it all the way up to the serene arm. Like I was talking about before, if I wanted to get a higher angle than just the easy rig would allow. So if I was shooting this like head on like this, I wouldn't be able to do this because the camera would sort of like hit the top of the rig right there. So operating on the side like that just gives me this extra couple of inches and you're like, that's such a little difference, but that seriously unlocks a lot of other shots for you if you're just able to get an even slightly higher angle. So that's pretty much gonna wrap up this video on my tips and tricks for getting a camera hooked up onto an easy rig and also a tip or two for operating the camera while it's on this crazy contraption. So if you have any questions about anything that you saw in this video today, or you have any tips or tricks of your own for getting a camera hooked up onto an easy rig, you know what to do. Drop a comment in the comment section below and we'll start a discussion. Also, if you happen to like this video, hit it with a thumbs up button down below to let me know you liked it. And if you're not already, subscribe to the channel. And that way you'll be in the loop whenever we post new content, which, is every week. So take care and we'll see you in the next one.